Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be creating a base mesh. So let's just go. First, let me turn on screencast key so you can see what I'm pressing. And go into the front view. You can change your views in here. The front view is this one. But I'm just going to use my numpad key and press 1. Now, Shift A and import the image. It's going to be the reference. And just find the reference image, which I'm going to be sharing in the description down below. First, import the front view. Now, numpad 3 is for the side view or this button. And import another reference, which will going to be for your side view. Select the both images as to scale and make them a little bit bigger. I will delete everything unnecessary. You can leave them. Now, select the front view and move it a bit to the back. Side view, a bit more to the side. And let's select our cube and control. Hold control and press 3. And just let's add more into our modifiers and apply. Let's go into the sculpting view now and save our file. Let's rename it so we can understand what is the file. I'm going to name it base mesh and save. Now, again, the front view, I will track this my toolbar so all the tools become visible and select the moving tool. And while having a blue arrow selected, I will drag it on the top. Now, here's the symmetry options, X, and we'll have an X symmetry now. Next, I'm going to press S to scale my sphere a bit down. And again, a dragging tool to drag it a bit high. What I'm going to do is press G. Let me turn on screencast keys again on this view because the sculpting view doesn't have it now. And now you can see what I'm pressing. G and drag my head into the place. A bit scaling it down. Let's go into the side view. And drag our chin and head into the place. Very simple and easy process. Just copy what you can see in the image. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you probably shouldn't even be making it perfect. Okay. Let's just move a little bit. And let's exit the sculpting mode into object mode. And insert a new cube. Again, control three, and in the mother of hires, I'm going to make it five, apply. And front view, go back into sculpting mode. Let's drag it in the torso position and scale it a bit down. Grab tool again, and oh, control Z, we forgot our symmetry. So let's turn on the symmetry and let's drag it in the position. That's good. Don't forget about the side view. We need to do a lot of adjustments on the side. You don't have to be in a hurry to get the ship correct. Don't forget this move while holding your shift. And get our ribcage torso in the position. Let's move. And we can exit into object mode. Shift D to duplicate the object. Release it in the same place. And sculpting mode again. Now grab tool. I mean the moving tool. Move it. Now rotation tool. In here you can set your pivot and to unmask. I have it shortcut on V. You can insert the shortcut by right clicking on it and change the shortcut. Now, when you have this option, let's just rotate it and maybe S to scale it. 
G for grab tool. And let's move it in the position. As you can see while we moved, the mirror did something to the mesh. So let's just smooth. And now maybe it's the time to remesh this. So let's remesh it. I'm going to remesh uh, maybe 0 0.05. Let's remesh it and turn on our statistics and the overlay options so we can see how many vertices we got. And 3000 is definitely not a lot. Let's drag our bottom and add to the hips. Not forget to smooth. And get this nice smooth shape of our lower lower back. Let's get this nice curve. And smooth. Let's drag this one a bit down. And kind of have our lower part almost shaped. Okay. Let's go back into the object mode and this time let's create another cube. This time go into edit mode, S to scale it and SZ to scale it on the axis to make it a bit longer. Let's move it into the leg position, maybe scale it a bit bigger. And I will add two loop cuts with Ctrl R and with the mouse wheel, I will add a bit more. So we have two. Now press S to scale and Z on Z axis and just move it closer to the edges. Now when I press Ctrl and three and add to five, you can see that the mesh looks like a cylinder. If you will not add those edges, the mesh will look more like a sphere, dragged out sphere. So don't forget to add them. Let's go into the sculpting mode and let's turn our symmetry on. Now, maybe let's just form the leg for this moment. Maybe you can turn off your symmetry. Let's form our leg. Let's hop leg part. Let's go into the back view. To fix the slack, how it connects to the body. Don't forget to smooth a bit. And the side view. Side view, you can see that it will need a lot of work. Don't worry, just keep using the grab tool and dragging everything into the places. Let's smooth so the shape has a bit of better flow. And at this point, when you're happy, let's turn back on the symmetry and in the symmetry options, let's change direction from minus X to plus X and symmetrize. Now we'll have it copied on another side. Let's go back into the object. Let's not forget to save our file. Shift D to duplicate and let's go back into the sculpting mode. Now use the drag tool and drag our duplicate to the lower leg. Let's drag it into the position and we can scale it and a bit of rotation. Now we can use a bit of advanced technique to scale it down, but not scale the whole form is use a mesh filter. And in the mesh filter options, there is inflate option. Now when you select and drag to left, you can see that it becomes smaller, but it doesn't become less size. It just becomes thinner. Let's select our grab tool again and push our leg shape in the 
position. Don't be afraid to go a bit over the top. It's okay. And we can see that we have this empty place. Let's fill it up. Don't forget to smooth front view. We can see we're lacking a bit of the shape into the front view. Smooth. And I think that it's okay. You never